ignorance. In other words, leaving something out of account. And I want to use a familiar illustration to show in what way we ignore. You see here a figure which is apparently, as you look at it, two faces in profile about to kiss each other. Now, if we draw back a little from those two faces, we can see on the white area in between them the form of a cup. But the interesting thing about this is that as you look at it, you will either be able to see the form of the cup or the form of the two faces in profile, as it were, about to kiss each other. You can alternate them be between them very rapidly, but you will not be able to see them both that way at the same time. In other words, either the white must be the background and the black the figure on the ground, or else the black must be the background and the white cup showing up on it. And so in this way, we are unable to see really, we can think it, after a while we can get accustomed to the idea that the figure and the ground, the black and the white, are mutually necessary to each other. In that figure that I showed you, you could say both the cup with the stem and the two faces are there. But our ideas about them, our concepts, are mutually exclusive and we cannot see them both at the same time. And in the same way, in this figure that I drew, uh, we either see the sawn-off stumps or the bear claws. It's difficult to see this figure both ways at the same time. And so, also, just as we see one and not the other, so we identify ourselves. After all, when you're looking at the white figure in that illustration, which is the cup, you, as it were, identify with the cup. When you look at the two faces, you identify with the profile. So in the same way, when we experience the world around us, we identify with the subject, the knower. We don't identify with what we see. But as a matter of fact, if there is nothing seen, there is no experience of a seer. If there is no seer, there is no experience of anything seen. They both go together in the same way as the black and the white.